how to get digital elevation information from Google Earth and use it to create a digital elevation model in ArcGIS. This is what we are going to learn in this tutorial. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. Subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So the first thing to do is to create as much points as we can. To do this, go to the digitizing tool or add path. Click on it and we will name it Google Topo. So I will start to digitize like this. The goal is to create as much points as we can by sliding the path tool. I'll put as much points as I can, even in between those lines. After completing the, this operation, I will click on OK. So after creating our points, we'll go ahead and export our our points as ikmz file so to do this head over to the created file right click and then click on save place as then navigate where you want to place your file and then click save after getting our kmz file we will go ahead and use a tool to convert our kmz file into a jpx file which we will use then in ArcGIS to extract our elevations. So go to this website, gpsvisualizer.com slash elevation. I will put this link in the description. Now we will enter our KMZ file to convert it into a GPX file. To do this, click on choose file, select your KMZ file, then click open. We will ask the website to convert our KMZ file into a JPX file. So I will just click convert and add elevation. Now the website is converting our KMZ file to get a JPX file with latitude, longitude, and the corresponding elevation of each point. Now the website have done, we will just click on the JPX file to download it. So after downloading our JPX file, we will go ahead and open ArcGIS. So click on this button, the search button, and type in GPX. Enter. Now we will click on this GPX to features conversion tool. I will input the GPX file that we have just downloaded using the website GPS Visualizer. Click on it and click open. So after this, I will specify where I want to out to place my output file, which is in this case HF file. What we have, what we are trying to do, is to convert our GPX into a shape file in order to manipulate it in ArcGIS. So I will name my G my shape file Google slash topo and click save. I click OK to let the tool do the conversion for us. At the end of this operation, we'll get this kind of points. Now we have a shape file with our created points in Google Earth Pro. So now each point, as you can see, we'll just open the attribute table. As you can see, we have our points with their elevation. So what we are going to do now is we will try to create a digital elevation model using this using the information contained in those points. To do this we will use a kind of a interpolation method. So there are a lot of methods to do interpolation. In our case I will use an, an interpolation called Kriggin. To do this click on the search button and type in 
Then I will click on this Kriegen Spatial Analyst. I will input our shift file that we have created in ArcGIS. And for the Z value, I will click on Elevation. Here you can specify where you want to output your raster. So I will just lead it to this default value and we will see what we, are, what we will get. Click on OK. So there we go. We got our digital elevation model as you can see. So the ArcGIS interpolated the points to get the values in between those points. You can also create contours using this digital elevation model. So you can go to search and look for counters. I will click on this counter special analyst and we will input my digital elevation model. For the contour inter interval, I will put for example 20 meters. For all of the other parameters, I will lead them to default and I will click OK. So now ArcGIS is creating contours as you can see. We got our elevation contours. You can label those contours. You can even change the color of the digital elevation model by clicking on properties and then go to symbology and then here you can change the color so for example we'll go ahead and choose this one click apply and then okay so here you go got our digital elevation model from google earth pro so this is it if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get more of this kind of tutorials